You're right guys and welcome back to Peninsula Painting Projects. So in this video we're going to have a little look at issue 2 from the Warhammer Conquest subscription. Now unfortunately, and I'm quite annoyed about this, even though I may be looking quite happy, but I still haven't received my subscription yet. So I subscribed on the 3rd of September, received an email the next day saying, you know, we, we acknowledge your subscription and you will have your um, first two issues within 28 days. And I'm, I'm a bit annoyed about that because surely if someone orders something, you've already got them pre-made and pre-packed in, 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 in the uh, warehouse or what, whatnot. They should be sent out within at least five working days, in my opinion. Um, so 28 days will be like the 1st of October. Um, so I've contacted, in the meantime, I've contacted Con Conquest, or uh, well, Hatchet, should I say, and they've e emailed me back and said, you'll receive it before or by the 19th of September. So I sent them another email and said, okay then, does this mean that my subscription is going to be behind everybody else's because I'm not happy with that? If that's the case, I will be cancelling it. They replied and said, no, no, no. Everyone should receive the first two issues by the 19th of September. Then everyone should receive um, every single month on the 28th of the month. They'll receive however many issues that, that whatever the, they've set up. So that's not too bad. I give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll let them get away with this, but to be honest with you, it's what what pisses me off even more is the fact that they've already done a test run of this, and they could they've already gauged how popular it would be. So in my opinion, there shouldn't be any hiccups. Anyway, one other thing before we have a little look at this, I've just started my own Facebook group called Peninsula Hobby and Chill. That's the one. Peninsula Hobby and Chill. So if anyone's interested in joining that, I'll either pop something up above or I'll put it in the description. I'll definitely be putting it in the description anyway. So if you're interested in joining, come along, share your progress. Um, it's not just about Warhammer 40k though, guys. You can share bolt action, historicals, uh, Age of Sigmar, anything to do with D&D, anything. I'm interested in what you've got to show me. Um, and that's it really. So let's get the camera turned around. Nice one. So here we have it, issue two, it's four ninety nine, and I had to go to WH Smith to purchase this. Well, I didn't have to, but I did want another set of Plague Marines. So I'm not really that bothered, but I am annoyed about the fact that I'm going to have to wait for my subscription, but I'm not bothered about getting another one. So I'm going to put the camera down, remove these from, from the cardboard, and we'll have a little another look closer. So there's the issue. And here's the miniatures. Let's get rid, get this out of the packaging. And let's see what we actually get in here. Bloody solid tape. Always getting in the way, right? So, let's get these all out. So. You got six dice. Now these do not feel like any other dice that I've played with before. They feel like ones that you get in Connect Four or some sort of, you know, some sort of board game that's cheaply made. So let's see if we can roll any sixes. Oh, one. Not too bad. So yeah, that's not. They would have all hits. Four up to wound. Two wounds, not too bad. Anyway, so yeah. I'm gonna have to remove this solid thing because it's doing my head and the glare on it. So in this set we get three Death Guard Plague Marines. Now I don't know whether any of you are aware of this, but these three are not available in the Dark Empyrean box set. So if you would if you've already purchased that when that came out, or you're gonna go you're gonna go and purchase it to expand on this conquest, or even if you're not buying conquest and you just want to get the Dark Imperium, at least you know that these three um plague marines are not in 
the starter set, which I think is pretty cool, to be honest. These were originally sort of like, not limited edition, but they were exclusive to their original box that, that they came in, but now they're going to be common as muck, aren't they? So we get one guy with, I think that's a blight launcher. Yep, yeah, that's a blight launcher there. So, and then we've, he comes with a power, power fist, I think that's classed as. Then we've got a guy with a normal bolt gun here, and which is him there. And then the other guy has got, he's a, he's a champion power fist and power and plague sword with a plasma gun, which is quite random really, to be honest. Um, but yeah, look look how detailed these are. These are highly detailed models. And these, in my opinion, are actually better to an extent than the Primar Space Marines. Because the detail is just crazy on them. You've got all the boils on the on the knee pads, you've got the chain mail on the background, and you've got the sort of like um 30k style armour. And you've got multiple tentacles and stuff and, and guts hanging out. Little iconography there. I think these models are fantastic, so I can't wait to paint these to be honest. And this doesn't keep this keeps on coming out of focus. Is that better? Yeah, I took the AF off. Whatever the hell that means. So that's that's the, the three miniatures there. These would normally retail at ten pounds. Um so already the cost of this it's half price. So we just keep them to one side. You get three bases with them. Which are the slotter bases at 32 millimeters. Which is quite good. And then we've got some Death Guard green paints. Now, this is £2.50 as well. So already we're on £12.50. Let's have a little look at the magazine. Um, so this is issue two, and this is going to be all about the Plague Marines conquest in the 31st millennium. Oh, look at this again. Another advert. First page you come across, you get a little pull-out advert. Oh, we've got two. Oh, Christ. So what, what, what? Oh, this is to get your subscription, isn't it? Just to subscribe in general. Um, and obviously, like we covered in the last um, video, these are your free stuff. So in this advert, it just lets you know that the little things that you're going to get for free, which I've already covered in the last video, uh, in the last review of uh, issue one. Um, but I'm guessing in this one, you're going to get issue four for free if you subscribe today. Um, at least we know we're going to get some Bugman's Glow for free in the next one. So for some reason, they give us two of these. I'm going to pop them in the recycle bin. But yeah, that looks pretty cool to me. I do like these, um, what are they called? My mind's gone blank. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. Plague, whatever, yeah, plague guys. So, we are looking at, I'm just trying to think if I did a, a different angle on this because it looks too close. Um, I just change this up a bit, lift that up. Here we are. Right, so I've got a bit of information here about the Death Guard. Uh, the name of these miniatures that you're going to get. Uh, the Home World, the, the Demon Primarch, or Primarch, uh, First Captain, the Specialisms, and the Patron God, the Motto. A bit of information about the Death Guard. More information about the home planet. Which, in my opinion, if you've never collected these before, it's, it, you know, this is very useful. And I think that's quick. Oh, well. So, that was not good, was it? Look how easy that was. Saying that I think you are meant to rip these when you put them in the binder. Anyway. Bit of information about the weapons there. Which is pretty cool. Um, bit of information about the Plague Fleet and the Plague Marines. Now, I actually liked it on the last issue. 
we told you about the um, the power armor, the X armor. Um, so it's a bit of information here. So let's have a little look at the helmet again. So let's look at the helmets. Death Guard helmets are rusty and filthy. They are stubbed with iron spikes, pierced by grueling tubes, and hor and are horrid to look at. Yes, that's pretty right to be honest, isn't it? Bit more information there. Let's unfold this because I can hear it cracking and creasing. Next page: How to build your build your plague marine. Something that I may cover if anyone's interested. Not how to clip it. This is how to assemble it. How to paint it. So, as we know, issue one we got the Retributor armor and the Abaddon black. And now we've got the Death Guard Green, so it's going to tell you how to paint this. Now let me just check. Um, it does tell you to use a palette, which is always good. Shake your paint before opening them. Be sure that you don't get too much paint on your brush. You'll obscure the detail if the paint is too thick. You can even paint out on your palette. You can even you can even the paint out on your palette. Trying to see if it tells you to base it first. I think painting the models, guns, men, blah blah blah. I can't see where it says base your miniature first. Oh yes, it does. Well, it doesn't take tell you to prime it. Does it? It just says base your whole model with the with Death Guard Green. I'm wondering whether that would actually stick to that. You know. Shall we try it? Shall we try it in, in another video? Should I assemble one of these and begin to paint it in just Death Guard Green straight over this? If you want me to do that, let me know in the bottom in the comment section. A little look through. So it tells you how to do the black, the gold, your first battle. Oh yes, um, got the card there. So the board, what you'll need. The basics, a tutorial on how to move your miniatures, advanced tutorial, shooting tutorial. This is, this is, I think it's great. Someone who's never played before, there's a lot of information in here and it's quite simple. It's broken down, you know, it's basic. It's not overwhelming, which trust me, when I first got into this hobby, I was bloody overwhelmed. So, we play extra rules. So um, I think in the previous pages it tells you to only use certain weapons. And then once you've had a couple of practice of that, it's telling you now to use the, the plasma gun, the blight launcher and the rapid fire, which is quite good because it actually gives you the rules in here. That's very interesting. So it tells you a bit about the actual weapon and it gives you a bit of a uh, rules there. And it gives you a quick, um, quick uh, go-to guide there. That's very interesting. And then finally, oh, it is this finally. We've got the Conquest, yeah. Conquest, subscribe again to Conquest, blah, blah, blah. If you like it, subscribe. And then we will know, issue three, you're getting your four. This are your three... Um, Reavers, um, get your lead belcher, which is a silver. And issue four, we're going to pox walkers, that's what they're called pox walkers and bugman's glam. So, I am looking forward to next issue, to be honest. Hopefully, I'll get it before the end of the month. And here's the board. Now, wasn't too sure what the material would have been like for this. Let's have a little zoom out. But I'll be honest, I am one to criticize. And it does feel like a, you know, a durable carb, well not carb, but durable um, glossy paper type of thing. It does seem quite durable to be honest. So I thought that we were gonna get the movement rulers, the mini ones, but looks like you're gonna have to cut them out here. A little bit unfortunate, but hey home, it's one of them. I see what the, the dice sound like on here. They don't roll too bad, do they? You've got the containers here. 
So it's to your terrain, so you get your your um, your cover saves and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. So guys, if you're going to subscribe, if you've bought this, let me know. Let me know what you're going to paint up your Plague Marines like. I'm very interested to find out. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. See you later. Try guys.